Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. Shipment is supposed to be coming in today with all the material and I'm uh, looking forward to that. So y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. beginning of the trailer rebuild. That's my partner in crime, Doug. I have no responsibility or accountability here. <laughs> I did not design. So, this is where all the magic is going to happen. Or disaster, either one. <laughs> no habla inglés. <laughs> Yes, indeed. It's kind of like almost sad. This thing's been with me for 20 months. 21 months, to be exact. Wow. I'm going to make this trailer build videos in a uh, parts. So I have the material coming today. So this is going to be part one. And then the next step will be clearing out the trailer and then taking it apart, and then getting stuff ready. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna to be doing a lot of planning, speaking with an engineer uh, from my friend Doug, which is where I'm at right now, on the little details of building the new trailer. Because I have the grand scheme of what I want done, but I don't have the little minute details uh, figured out like raising the the trailer top and all that other stuff like that so all this uh i'm hopefully it's not going to take longer than two weeks but you know how things go uh, it'd be nice if it happened in a week <laughs> i'm going to need to get the trailer welded and repaired in a couple of places for the frame so i'm looking for a aluminum welder they're a lot harder to find than the uh, metal lot welders so and i heard it's more difficult so i don't know um, okay some details on the trailer build itself the new trailer um, the trailer is going to be still four foot by six foot uh, the big difference in this is that i'm using some really light material and the top is going to raise and the reason for the top raising on the trailer that i'm wanting is because i want to be able to set in it i want to be able to set eat it pot if i need to if it's raining outside i want to have a comfortable place to set and relax inside the trailer the trailer the old trailer i'm going to call it the old trailer the old trailer all i did and it is sleep in it. I can't sit in it comfortably. Um, that So the trailer that I'm going to be building, and the reason for the light material, is that so the, the trailer will have a base, and then it'll have a top that raises, and it'll still all be a hard shell. And the goal is to keep this trailer, without my stuff in it, at 200 pounds. And that's going to be a tough one. So, But it's a good goal to shoot for. The existing trailer is 350 pounds and with all my stuff in it it's just a little over 400 pounds which is pretty heavy on the bike and it's hard on the bike i want to make it easier on the bike maybe i won't have to do but only one clutch per year instead of two i don't know it's four sets of brakes per year right now yeah because i still got a uh a ways to go on this riding for a cure raising money in memory of my son I've raised a little under 8,000 and my goal is 90,000. So I'm gonna continue till I hit that goal. I got here two days ago and I was expecting the material to come in yesterday, but it didn't come in yesterday. And I gave him a call over there at Old Dominion. I think that's what he called it, Old Dominion Freight on uh, the material being shipped from composite technology from Florida, which donated every bit of this material that I'm using. Uh, they're awesome. 
uh, I'll have their information down below. so glad this material is here and I'm so excited thanks for composite uh, technologies uh, for donating this awesome I appreciate all y'all support catch y'all on the road in Lake Jackson Texas right now on a trailer belt Okay, we're recording right? Yeah, we're recording right. Up a little closer. A little more head action here. It's because I want to be able to sleep in it. I don't... Ah. I want to not sleep set. I'm kind of hopping all over this place because this is probably going to be heavily... Bit, 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 this video is probably going to be heavily edited. Let's see, what else do I need to talk about? <laughs> see you in part two.